Hey guys, um, so before I get started with today's video, I'd like you guys to go watch Saturday's video. Thank you so much. I'd like you guys to go watch Saturday's video because this kind of has to do with bullying in a way. Once I get started, you guys will understand. Okay, I guess I don't want to wear my crown today. So once I get started, you guys all kind of know where I'm coming from with this because this happens every day with life, of course. This just happens every single day of anybody's life. Rather if it's at school, rather if you're out in public, rather if you're at a store even. It just, you hear this all the time. So I want to make this video um, just to kind of get it out there. I guess I could say. Um, so, let's get started. So, I watched a video the other day about, um, like, basically inner beauty and how people want to look like other people. Um, if you guys have watched Made You Look, I, um, um, she does makeup, and she was, she was talking about this, and this really inspired me to turn around and, you know, make a video about this because I feel like people don't understand how beautiful they are or how pretty they look or how they don't need to change because of this. And this does have to do with bullying because a lot of people, doesn't matter if it's a guy or a girl, will come up to you and say, you're ugly, you need to change the way you look, your clothes, your hair, your face, your everything. And people get really upset about it because they think that they are really ugly and they they want to change. And... And I just, I just really think that's really wrong because you're doing this for someone else. You're not doing this for you. You're doing it for someone else so you can make that person happy. But guess what? That person doesn't matter. They Really, they don't. They don't matter. That person does not matter. Please excuse me. Hold on. One second. One second. Okay, never mind. Sorry. But that person really doesn't matter. They don't. They don't. They don't matter. They don't matter. If you think you are beautiful, well, okay, you should know you're beautiful, okay? Because it doesn't matter who the heck you are. You should know this by now that you are beautiful, pretty, gorgeous, whatever. You are not ugly, all right? Beauty, beauty is not only on the outside, but it's also on the inside. So if someone came up to you and said, look, you're freaking ugly. You need to change everything about yourself if you want people to like you or if you want to get a boyfriend or a girlfriend or whoever. You need to sit there and think for a second. They're not, they're not telling the truth. They're just, they're just trying to make you feel bad. That's all they're trying to do. They're just trying to make you feel bad and... That's what this kind of turns into. I'm not saying everybody does this. I've gone through it before. I've always thought that I was ugly, guys, but... I... But it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. I don't need to impress other people just so I can feel better about myself. I, I don't I don't need to do that. I don't need to. If I want to change a few things about myself, that's one thing But because I'm doing that for me. But if I'm changing for this guy I like or because I want to be friends with these people or because I just want to look like this girl in a magazine who who's so beautiful, I'm not doing that for myself. I'm doing it for other people. And I think this really aggravates me when people say, I want to be thin or I want to be pretty or I want to be this or I want to be that. I just kind of turn around and look at them and go, are you kidding me? Because it doesn't freaking matter. You guys have no idea how frustrated I get about this because people don't get it. People don't understand. I understand if you have been bullied and people have been pressuring you to look beautiful or to look pretty or to look better than what you look. I can understand that because pressure, pressure like that really, it really hits you and then you, you go on about your life and then you turn into someone you're not. You guys, you guys can disagree with me all you want in the comments. You guys can disagree with me if you click on this video and you think this is something else and you just really hate what I have to say, then go ahead, hate what I have to say, but it's the truth. It is the truth. 
And I just think people don't really get the fact that they are pretty, beautiful, gorgeous, whatever. Whatever word you want to really describe this person. I mean, how many times has a guy gone up to a girl who doesn't have their makeup done, doesn't really have their hair done, doesn't really, is not really in the best clothes, kind of in a baggy shirt and some sweatpants and some tennis shoes and... You know, they look like they just kind of rolled out of bed. How many times have you seen a guy go up to a girl like that and say, you are completely gorgeous? I'd like to know. Because I've never seen it. I've seen it in movies, and that's not... I've seen, I've seen it in movies, okay? And that's it. I haven't seen this in real life. Because people don't look at people like that. They think, oh, yeah, they, they're just probably being lazy, but ugh, whatever. And then they see they see this other person who's well dressed, has their na hair nice and done, and goes up to them and says, oh, wow, you are just plain beautiful. And I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, refer I'm referring more to girls because if guys went up to someone and said, you know, you're freaking ugly. Okay, yes, I can understand that you want to look like a cool kid. But this kind of has to do more with girls, what they do. You know, I could open up a magazine right here, right now. Granted, I don't have one. I could open up a magazine and look at all these girls and say horrible things about them that would change your mind. It would. A lot of it is Photoshop. A lot of it is, I got, I got told this in sixth grade. A lot of it is like this... Like, uh, I don't remember what it's called. It's like a type of Photoshop where you, like, crop these girls to where, like, if they look like this, they'll look like this. Or if their face isn't that pretty, they'll look gorgeous. And I just... I need to relax. Never mind. Not working. It just really, really irritates me. I mean, even if you see, like, a group of girls... Wearing their nice high heels, their nice pants or skirts or dresses or whatever. And they've got they've got their makeup done. They've got their hair nice and pretty. And they've got their handbags. And they're ready and they look snatched. And they, and they just look beautiful. And every guy just turns their head when they walk into a room. But uh, like, I, like I said, how many times have you seen guys turn their heads when they see a whole bunch of girls walking into a store, into a mall, into a club, into wherever, into a party, doesn't matter where, and they're just wearing a pair of pants, some tennis shoes, a t-shirt, and their hair is up in a ponytail. How many times have you seen guys turn their head and be like, she's gorgeous. I, I just want to know. I mean, maybe I don't see it, maybe you guys see it, but I don't see it. And I just feel like people just don't get the, they just don't understand. <sighs> and I just really would like girls to actually go into a mirror or go into the bathroom and say, I look gorgeous today. It doesn't matter how you look. I look gorgeous today. I could put my hair down. Now, great, my, my hair's wet. You don't want to see my hair when it dries. Because it's, like, all poofy and wavy. But, you know, if I kind of just play around with it a little bit, like, just kind of move a piece of hair, I look fine. Like, I'm not saying, like, ooh, fine. I'm saying fine. You know, fine. I look, I look good. You know, what, what matters here now? You know, I, I, I showed you guys my closet. I, I don't wear fancy things unless it's for a special occasion. Because I feel there's no need. There is really no need. Unless, you know, I really want to, like, put on a little fashion show for myself. Then, yeah, I'll do my makeup. I'll play with my hair a little bit. I'll, I'll wear something nice and, you know, take pictures or whatever. That, that's because I'm just bored. Okay, I don't, I don't go out and look super duper great. I mean, yes, I put makeup on. Yes, I fix my hair up. But it's jeans, t-shirt, and tennis shoes. That's really what I wear but I just feel like no one understands and when I had a girl do this one time we were sitting in science class and the, and she's like oh man I wish I looked beautiful or I wish I looked I wish I was skinny and I turned around and looked at her and I'm like um really 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 you've got to be kidding me 
And she just kind of like laughed nervously. I didn't I didn't necessarily say all this. I just kind of looked at her like that. And she just kind of laughs nervously. And I'm sitting here thinking, you look good. You look great. I look great. Don't I look fabulous right now? Woohoo. Yeah. That was, that, that was kind of sarcasm. But still, you all are beautiful. And if you don't believe me, you don't have to believe me. If you want to hear it from someone else or whatever, go ahead. But I don't really think it's going to change much of anything. You know, if you have, if you want to hear it from a guy, you want to hear it from a girl that you're beautiful, you know, or that you look good, or that you look great, or that you're the most beautiful person that I've seen, then go ahead, go to someone else and have them say that. But I'm telling you guys the truth. Usually they won't. Okay, that sounded bad. I'm telling you guys the truth. <sighs> Now that I can breathe, now that I've gotten that off my, off my chest, I would like you guys to actually go look at yourself. And this is, this is what I want you to do. Not want, but you can do this. I want you to take a piece of paper and I want you to write down a list of things that you would change about yourself and why. And what purpose would it, what, how would it make a difference in your life? Or I want you to go into the bathroom or if you have a mirror in your room or wherever and look at yourself and think about the things that you would change and why. And then I want you to think about the things you would change for yourself. Because I'm being serious, guys. Everyday life. And this is where depression comes in. And this is where a lot of girls will sit there and cry because they wonder why guys don't like them. And... I find this really aggravating. So I'm being serious. You can write down on a piece of paper what you would change about yourself and why and what purpose would it do. Like, okay, you would change your hair color because you don't like your hair color and the purpose would be other people would like you. And then I want you to go back and think, I would change my hair color because I want to try something different and I think, you know, maybe blonde, brown, black, red hair isn't for me. Whatever color hair you guys may have. I've, I've changed my hair one too many times. I've done it blue, I've done it, I've done it blue, I've done it purple, and I've done it this auburn color right now. But my natural hair color is brown because I want to try different things for myself. All right. I love you guys a lot. I hope this I hope this video maybe did something for you. I'm going to go because this is getting long. So, yeah. Leave me your comments, requests, anything like that, and I don't think anything else needs to be stated besides bye guys and I love you and I will see you Thursday.